Who's guilty for this shit right here? Duck butt or anterior pelvic tilt. Constant lower back pain. I'm gonna teach you how to fix it. I'm gonna teach you, all right? Let's go. All right, first things first. Let me introduce you one of the most painful stretches you'll ever do. But this is gonna help loosen up your hip flexor, which is a very big contribution to that anterior pelvic tilt. So find yourself a wall, okay? You wanna get your knee to the wall and your foot up, okay? If you're here, that's fine. Just stay there, but as you get better, you'll be able to come up. Whoo, that hurts. Yep. And you want to try to get your arm up till you're back up against the wall, okay? Whew. Second of all, we want to strengthen our lower core, okay? So we do that with a reverse curl. This is one of my favorites. So come onto the ground. Naturally, you'll have this arch in your back, okay? We want to flatten our back to the ground first of all. Feet up and glue your heels to your butt, okay? Put your hands down beside your hips and push them into the ground so hard that your hips roll up like this. And then back down. Notice how my heels stay right up against my butt. If you kick your feet over, the weight of your legs is gonna make you cur curl over rather than your core, okay? We wanna get that lower core working from the hip up, okay? From the bottom up. So roll up, flat, lower back. Push the hands into the ground, <clears throat> roll. Push, roll. All right, next up, we've got barbell hip thrusts. We really want to isolate those glutes now, okay? Let those glutes do the work instead of your lower back. So, upper back on the bench, okay? Your shins are vertical. Barbell's on your hip. There's a broomstick, I know. Turn is a barbell. But we want to do the scoop method, okay? So we let our hips sink, we let our lower back arch. See, I'm arch, but then I'm scooping, 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 flattening my lower back, turning my core on, turning my glutes on. Let it arch again. Scoop, 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 squeeze, core, squeeze, glutes. One more time. Squeeze, core, squeeze, glutes. I like to look down my body. This helps keep my body crunch. If I look up, I'll most likely arch my lower back. So look down your body. Keep your head tucked down. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. We're nearly done. There's just one more. The last thing we need to strengthen is our hamstrings, okay? You can do any hamstring exercise, any sort of isolation hamstring exercise because anterior pelvic tilt usually contributes to overstretched hamstrings and weak hamstrings. So in this facility, I don't have much, but I do have a band and I do have a pole. So I can anchor the band behind my foot and I can just do isometric hamstring curls. Working one leg at a time just so I can really focus on that contraction, make sure my hamstrings doing the work, nothing else. Oh, and you're welcome.